of young scientists here who have never done a deep sea cruise before. So they are excited when the troll comes up from 1,000 over meters and they see all sorts of strange things wriggling around. The world down there is an alien world. We have water going to two, three thousand meters, and then uh, we do not know what are the animal forms, animal life that's at the bottom. And we had one spider crab that came up on the third day, right? And we looked at it with my friend and said, hey, what is this? He said, I don't know. Right? I've not seen this before. So we quickly check our books. Oh, it's probably new. See, the spine is the wrong place, the colour, the eye, you know. Basically, you look at certain features of the animal, you've seen so many, and it doesn't fit any of the template. That kind of feeling you get, that eureka moment, you know, at the point of discovery, it's a fantastic feeling. I got you, I got my Darth Vader. Right, my giant isopod, we caught uh, two of the super giants. Basically a deep sea cockroach, but quite adorable. You bring it up and the guy is still moving and looking at you with those alien looking eyes, right? Uh, even one of my crew you know, was adopting it as a child, uh, hugging it like a baby. The sea cockroach is uh, one of the major scavengers in the deep. Right? So what it does is it scurries around the bottom of the ocean looking for dead fish, dead whales, dead anything. Right? And it gobbles them up and rips them apart. My expectation, at least, was that we will find many of the same things we found in the Indian Ocean side, in Australia side, things we have seen before. After 12 days, we look at the material, at least the things we are familiar with. We have at least 12 new species of crabs, shrimps, lobsters, hermit crabs. Did that exceed expectations? It completely exceeded all expectations.